so we have arrived at the festivals and for this one you'll have to let me know maybe not your top five or all your favorites but just one or two you know maybe what is your favorite festival because i feel like i you know this one's going to be a little bit all over the place there hasn't been a ton of them and i know just from experience you know the ones that i i mean and it's kind of hard not to just put big cypress at number one just because of that one set alone everything that was just big cypress you know, they were broadcast on ABC a little bit that night. That broadcast ends up going everywhere. It was the, you know, it was the millennium. Every rock and roll band that had anything going on was playing that night. Fish put them all to shame. But unfortunately, well, before we get to that, we'll just start at number. Number five was a bit of a tough decision. Overall, this top five wasn't too hard. Eh, maybe it wasn't that hard. Anyway, five and six, it was tough, though, between the Great Went and Lemon Wheel. At five, I went with the Lemon Wheel. Mainly because of the gin and the tweezer. And then, you know, just as an extra little bonus, you know, gin and tweezer pretty much rule every festival. But then we also got, you know, the token hood throwing it in there. But the taste and the theme, to me, kind of put this over the top. Two songs, you know, that I really like. Not, you know, not going to be on anybody, including me's list of top songs. But when you get into that second tier of songs, they're way up there, taste and theme are. And they both kind of got the treatment at Lemon Wheel. Very good versions, you know, all the way still till now. Some of the best ones you can put on and listen to. So that put the Lemon Wheel at overhead of the great win at number five. And then at number four, a little bit more of a modern uh, festival here, I guess. Although 2003, a really long time ago now. The It Festival had a Yamar kicking off one night. Got things going early on. A Ghost, Pebbles and Marbles. Now, I know a lot of people carry on about the 46 Days. And look, I'm a huge 46 Days guy. Guilty as charged. But the problem with this 46 days is it just kind of went on and on and on and not a lot was happening, you know. Unfortunately, that was one of the low lights of the It Festival. But the Seven Below, Sense and Subtle Sounds, that whole segment, that was pretty amazing. Putting It at number four, we got a tower jam there that night, late night set, and uh, nobody else played except for Fish. It was, uh, where was the It Festival? It was up in Maine. Like, they've done several of them in Maine. This one was also there. And then we go on to Magna Ball. Again, now this one, real, real recent, I guess, in terms of overall looking at the festivals. And that Gin and Caspian alone kind of did it. We had a really good afternoon set. Included a Wolfman's, I believe. No, that did not include a Wolfman's. An Undermine, maybe, in that first set in the afternoon. Had an inflatable hamburger bouncing all around the crowd. That was a highlight for me. I was doing some YouTube wheezing here, <gasps> wheezing over here. There was a little bit of a, uh, and I was doing some YouTube recaps for Magna Ball. Unfortunately, we got no curveball action. Curveball, who knows? Would it have made the list? I don't know. So then this is where it gets a little hairy. You know, obviously I could just put Big Cypress at number one, call it a day. But we don't even really have a great version of that to listen to. And I haven't listened to that set. I mean, it's uh, it's almost impossible. But I haven't listened to that set as much as I have Clifford Ball, which I have at number one. We got the dinner and a movie treatment with Denver Clifford Ball. We got a DVD box set, which I own of the Clifford Ball. None of that for Big Cypress. So everything, you know, look, the fact that they played from, you know, all night long till the sun came up, that, you know, it's amazing. All that was really cool. The band loves it. They said that was like the kind of the peak of the band at that point. But for me, I'm putting Big Cypress at number two, unfortunately. And putting Clifford Ball at number one, A, because just everything was great. Just almost every single thing they played was great. And people complained there wasn't a whole lot of jamming. Come on, go listen to that tweezer. Tell me there wasn't no jamming at Clifford Ball. You also had an amazing hood, a slave to the traffic light, a down with disease. And uh, just overall, man, how, how well it was played. And maybe I'm a little biased because, like I said, I own the DVD box set. It's very accessible. I mean, like when they got the set set, it got the dinner and a movie treatment. But, you know, I'm putting it at number one, basically, just because, you know, look, it's my favorite festival. Arguably, easily, though, if you put Big Cypress at number one, it's probably, you know, you're going to probably win that argument. So, I don't know. That's it. That's the festivals. Five through one. Lemon Wheel. It. Magna Ball. Big Cypress. Clifford Ball. Lots of balls in there, guys. All right, guys. Boom. We are maybe working our way. Best jams, though, man. That's another tough one. That was a tough mental exercise coming up with the 13 songs the other night. I don't know if I got it in me for the jams. Perhaps this weekend. All right, guys. Boom. Thanks for tuning in and checking out all these videos. And, uh, yeah, at least let me know. I mean, I don't know. Is Big Cypress your favorite? Or are you like, nah, man, you're right. Or is Clifford Ball? I've heard people say Clifford Ball is their least favorite. That seems ridiculous. But, hey, man, everybody's got one. Boom.